All right, guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Kadabe sheath for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now, I know you guys saw the title of this video, and it's called the best all-around case for the iPhone. Now, we're going to get into why that is here shortly, but in the meantime, this phone case does come for a few different iPhones, and it comes in a few different colors, the colors being black, which is this one. Then it comes in a steel blue, which is a dark blue, a mountain green, a crimson red, which is personally my absolute favorite color, and an amethyst purple for your purple iPhone 14 Pro Max. So they do color match that actually pretty well. But about the case itself, it is protective for two meters, which is 6.6 .6 feet of drop protection. It has the optimal blend of sleek, ultra slim design and superb drop protection as well as manufactured from Shocklight, which is their proprietary shock absorbing polymer. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this case. Now, starting off with the inside of it, you do get just this plasticky material in the inside, no real grippy texture or anything like that. You do get your MagSafe magnet and the alignment magnet here, as well as a little bit of a Kadabe logo right there. And it says minimalist perfection all around the case and some Kadabe branding right there, your serial number and a little bit of other information right there. Now, as far as your camera cutout, there's no other extra material. I know it looks a little bit different, but it feels the same all around with this material on the inside. Now, on the inside around the edges, you do just get their TPU shock absorbing polymer material all the way around the case. And this case is a little bit flexible. Now, don't let that throw you off. Like I said, best all around case, we're gonna get to that. Don't let that throw you off. They said it's that 6.6 .6 feet or two meter drop protection. I think they very much mean it. I have a little story to tell you guys about that, what happened to me actually over this past weekend. But let's go ahead and for now, take a look around the rest of the case. Let's put the Space Black iPhone 14 Pro Max in here. And you get this very nice click into the case itself. And to test out how the corners sound, very nice corners, good grip on there. Very satisfying click onto the case. And also what I like that Kadabe does is they give you this little tiny, if you can see it right there, that little tiny flat spot. What that's good there for is to swipe easier on your screen when you're swiping up to unlock the phone or whatever you're doing. It doesn't have this regular lip right there. It just gives you that nice, little flattened edge so it's just a little bit that little touch smoother to unlock or do whatever you're doing with your phone so i really appreciate that kadabe thought about that and put that in there so starting off with the sides of the phone you get a very nice open mute toggle switch here as well as your volume up and down buttons which do have these little air slits right there and you can hear those clicks. They're very, very clicky. Now, moving over to the bottom of the phone case, you have your nice wide open uh, lightning port here so you can fit those thicker chargers in there or anything like that, as well as your accurate speaker and your microphone cutouts. On the right-hand side, it's completely closed and you get your power button here, again, with another air slit right there and your top is completely closed in. Now, testing out the edges of the case, it is that TPU material, so it's going to have a little bit of give at the buttons and at the top and bottom. It's that little bit flexible material like I was showing you before when I was bending it, but don't let that you know freak you out or anything because like I said, this, this has that drop protection. It does have you covered, so you know, don't don't let that steer you away from buying this case because this really isn't a big deal when it comes to this one. Now on the back and all around the sides, you get this really nice textured material that Kadabe's provided. It's, if you can hear, it's a little bit almost like a sandstone. And you know, it's it's very grippy for me. Now I've heard some mixed reviews from some people. They say that it's a little bit slippery and they wish that there were some grips right here added along the sides, but I don't think that's necessary. I think this is very, very grippy the way that it is. And I think the texture itself, even when it's, you know, got a little bit of sweat from your hands or some finger oil, whatever you have on your hands, you know, it's still pretty grippy. Now, 
when it comes to the protection of this case, you do get a very, very nice, very proper camera lip right there, and as well as a very nice screen lip. So you can feel free to set it down on its screen or on the back, and you don't have to worry about anything, especially on a flat surface. You don't have to worry about anything messing with the screen or the camera. Now, as far as the look of this case, I absolutely love it. Now, with all of their different colors that they make and everything like that, even the black one that I have, and like I said, the crimson being my favorite color, that really nice crimson red, I really like the way that the Kadabi sheath looks. These little lines that they have going from, you know, the side all the way around on the top of the case, it may not seem like much, but it gives it that really modern kind of, you know, sleek look. And this case looks really good in any setting that you have it. You're in a business meeting and you have this set down on the table, no problem. It looks great, very sleek, very professional. If you're out on a date, no problem. It's not loud, it looks nice, classy, and elegant. If you're in a nice restaurant or if you're in a place that you don't have to be so nice at, wherever you're going, you know what I mean? This is, this is the case for you. This is the perfect, all-around, everyday, great phone case. Now, it can't be a good phone case without good MagSafe. It can be a good phone case, can't be great, and it definitely, definitely cannot be the best all-around phone case for the iPhone without great MagSafe. So let's go ahead and test that. Let's start off with our Apple MagSafe wallet with just that little card insert in there. Put it on. I don't know if you heard that. There's your uh, MagSafe animation. I don't know if you heard that attachment to this case, but I mean, let me try that again just so you guys can... Wow, that was weak. Hold on. I mean, it, it just falls on there. And you can sit here, push it around. And I like to do this to mimic it going into your pocket. You know, I'm sitting here giving it a nice little pull and it's not coming off. So feel free to put this in your pocket, your purse, your sling bag, wherever you're putting it. No problem. This isn't coming off. Now, moving along to the Apple MagSafe battery pack. Again, this does have your alignment magnet as well as the Kadabi sheath having that. So it's gonna stay on there very well. There you go. You get your little, well, let's try that again. Get your MagSafe animation. Oh, well, maybe not, but you do see that it's charging, so it is working. And, oh, hold on, it took a second, but there it goes. Well, you can sit here, push this down, give it the shake test. It's not coming off, don't even worry about that. And lastly, to bring over the Anchor, two-in-one 623 wireless charger. We're gonna go ahead and set this on there, let it latch, and I mean, come on. This, where is this going? This isn't going anywhere. You can sit here, pick it up, rotate the case. Oh, I accidentally pulled it off myself. But if you sit here, rotate the case 360 degrees, you don't have to worry about that at all. And it's not coming off. Very comfortable even pick up the stand itself. So, with that being said, do I recommend the Kadabe sheath? Now, I think that's kind of self-explanatory at this point, but yes, I do. I very much recommend the Kadabe sheath. I didn't really know about this company until the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I had the Sierra Blue iPhone 13 Pro Max with the blue, perfectly blue, Mesa Blue, I think it was called, color matched iPhone 13 Pro Max Kadabe case, and now having the space black, this looks so good together. And even if you have the blue or the green, or the red, whatever color, even the purple, on any of the other color iPhones. Kadabe does a great job with their colors, so that way you're able to see that it matches with any phone. They all look great. I can't say enough good things about this case. It looks super, super modern, very sleek, and very, very good case. Now, with the protectiveness, here's where that little story comes in. So over the weekend, I was at a stadium at a concert, and, you know... Things were moving around. There's a lot of people there. I was holding my phone, texting, trying to find something, whatever the case may be. Somebody was walking and just hit my phone. I don't know why this is all the way zoomed in. Somebody was walking and as I had my phone in my hands, just smacked my phone right out of my hand. It fell, and I'm six feet tall, so it fell from around you know my waist, stomach height, fell down completely directly on its back and gave even a little bounce. And I thought the back of this phone was shattered. And I mean, we can look at it together. And the thing is perfect. It's perfect. And the Kadabe sheath does not show any, any sort of damage. This was dropped directly 
on concrete, directly on concrete, and you have no markings whatsoever around this case. So Kadabe, if you're listening, this case, this is it. It's tried and true. Let me put that quarter in. It's tried and true. This case is it. This is, in my opinion, the best all around phone case for the iPhone. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Like and subscribe for more accessory videos. We do have the iPhone 15 coming out very soon. There's gonna be a ton of accessory videos coming for that. So make sure you guys subscribe to see more of that. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.